Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I had a guest on in the past, and I liked them so much I had to bring them right on back. So today's special return guest is Krista Fabrick, and she's a marketing consultant, coach, and professor. Uh, Krista, welcome back to the show. Hi, Adam. Yes, thank you so much for having me again. It was great to speak to you last year, and I was so happy to hear from you to, to have the chance to come back on. So uh, I'm excited to get into today's topic, so I want to get into uh, – uh, social media trends and uh, things that you're noticing. Also, I know you just launched a brand new Facebook group, so we'll talk about that. Um, but before, just to get us kicked off, um, I don't want to assume all of the uh, all of the new listeners caught your first episode. So that being said, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing as a marketing consultant, please. Absolutely. So I have sort of fallen into specializing in helping startups and small businesses with their marketing. So I really um, just come in and help them come up with a marketing strategy, a marketing plan, a social media strategy, social media plan, and, you know, anything from SEO to social media to even just email marketing, um, I just kind of help them figure out how to do it. Most small business business owners are very good at what they do for their business, might Mm -hmm. get a little bit overwhelmed by, confused by marketing. So I try to come in and simplify that and help them out. Totally, and our business owners need you, so thank you for what you do, Chris. That's an important <laughs> thing to do, and, and you're right. It is confusing. If somebody's so busy, they're working and doing their thing and, um, and, and creating their business and growing it, they don't always have time for some of these things that are so important over the long haul, and I think that's a, a great transition uh, into today's topic, which is a social media trend. So what, what kind of things have you been noticing? Well, the thing that I feel like is finally starting to get more talked about is TikTok. And I'm sure everybody's at least heard of it now, but just a couple of months ago, many people were like, what's TikTok? And it kind of came out of nowhere in the last year and has grown up to approximately 850 million users now. And what's crazy about TikTok is the average time spent on it by users is about 63 minutes. No other social media platform even comes close to that. Per day. So that's over an hour per day, and the engagement rates are insanely high, and the organic reach is insanely high. Now, how does that apply to small businesses or to businesses in general? Lots and lots of companies are getting on there and getting active in hashtag challenges and, and get growing followings. People who can't grow an Instagram account past 300 followers have been able to get to 100,000 followers on TikTok in a month. So... <laughs> Um, that's one of the things I think people need to be looking at more seriously and, and talking about more. Oh, that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, that, and some of the people listening right now are still saying, what is TikTok? So no, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's just yeah. the way I look at it. You know, some people are still saying, what is Instagram? So, um, let's yeah, not, uh, let's true. not go too fast. Remember we're busy working and my business just yeah. happens to be social media now, but before I was in media, I wouldn't have known. I'd be like, what? I don't know what you're talking about next. <laughs> so why should, yeah. why do, why do business owners need to pay attention to these type of trends? Like, like, why are they important for them? Why should somebody look up and say, okay, this this makes sense? Yeah, because um, when you can get in early on a new platform like this, just like people, who, businesses who got on active on Instagram, you know, 10 years ago almost, <laughs> or, you know, eight years ago when it first started, or even in 2015, 2016, they were able to get consumer attention and client attention before it was saturated. And so that's where TikTok, even though it's grown very quickly, because of the unique um, way that TikTok is designed and how it works, it niches out the content you see based on what you what you like. So if you are a business, and let's say you're, um, you know, if let's say you're a realtor, and you want to post a lot of content about Phoenix, um, which is where I happen to be right now, um, you know, you can post and show your knowledge of the area of Phoenix. And by using the hashtags and by the keywords that you use in your captions and things like that, people who live in the Phoenix area are naturally going to start getting to see your content. And so now you're going to be exposed to people who live in the Phoenix area. And then because of the type of content you post on TikTok, the right age group is going to naturally start to see that content. 
so the algorithm on TikTok is very interesting. It's all based on machine learning. And so my TikTok feed is going to be highly different than your TikTok feed. It's going to be highly different than an 18-year-old TikTok feed. So, and TikTok is not just for teenagers or young people anymore. The, the age demographic on TikTok has grown rapidly to be all ages. And so if your business um, possibly has an audience on TikTok, then you should probably consider try, at least testing it out because you can, you can probably find an audience there and they will probably enjoy your content and engage with you. Man, that's awesome. And that number you said about the amount of time spent in that platform, that's crazy. Like an yeah. hour? I, yeah. Facebook, I believe, is the next highest at 38 minutes. So that shows you the big difference because there's the TikTok is these 15-second videos, and they're either humor or dancing or singing or people just, like, giving information. But it's all 15-second videos, and there's something about it that's just so easy to get sucked into and sit there for an hour and watch. <laughs> I think my only platform that I'm on that much is email. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like, if you really think about it, um, that's the only thing that I know. So what kind of content should a, like, let's just say you're, I don't know, a law firm out there or your dentist's office or something, what kind of things should, uh, is that even an appropriate platform or something they can think about, or are they just like, is the profession oh. not, you know, something they can do? You tell me. Yes, there. In fact, I'm going to see if I can look it up real quick while I'm talking. But there is an orthodontist who um, he has, I think, over a million followers on TikTok. And yes, the dentist official. His ah. he's the dentist on TikTok and the dentist official on Instagram. Who? Oh, he's up to 2.8 million followers on TikTok now. Um, wow. And he's, an orth- and he's an orthodontist. So. <laughs> It goes to show you that anybody can can really make a niche on TikTok and if they want to. And what and kind if, of if, let's let's take that one a little bit further. So, what kind of content does he create? Just so people have a feel, because you know there's some skeptical people listening right now. And what what kind absolutely. of content is he making? Yeah, he um, does. Um, I haven't watched him recently, but he he started by just following what was trending on TikTok. So he was. The, for anybody who's never been on TikTok, there is like a discovery page where you can see TikTok tells you this is what's trending right now. This is what's popular on TikTok right now. And so if you just pick one of those popular trends and then follow the trends, so it'll be like, it, you know, in fact, I'll go right now and tell you what the, one of the trends are. So the trends, World Wildlife, Wildlife Day. So if you post something about World Wildlife, um, Pick, uh, after my coffee, so you show a 15-second video of what you look like or what you act like after you have your coffee in the morning, things like that. So it's not even necessarily always dancing or singing or funny stuff. It's I had no idea. Showing. Yep. And so that's how he – that's what he really does. He just follows the trends on TikTok and sees what's, ha- what's ha- popular, and he, he does the video and uses the hashtag, and boom. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to get back on this thing because I I did I think I have I have one video on TikTok. Ask Adam Torres, I think so. It matches yeah. all my other handles, but I did yep. I forgot what I was doing. I'm like, and no, I wasn't dancing for people that want to go and like, oh, this guy can dance. No, I can't. That's why I haven't yeah. done much on TikTok. But I can show somebody what I do after I drink coffee. <laughs> so that's yep. a whole that's yep. a whole new game changer. I love it, and I think Krista, you may be the person. That finally talked me into actually spending some time on that thing. So, oh, my god. There gosh. you go. <laughs> what, is, what is this world coming to, Krista? This is why I do these family <laughs> reunion episodes, because my family won't let me be left behind. So, thank you. <laughs> there, you there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> so, so, Krista, if somebody's listening to this and they want more, you're obviously an expert on trends, social media, marketing. If somebody's listening to this and they want to inquire about working with you and to get more info, I mean, number, first off, um, what is the right type of client you like to take on and then second off how do they reach out you know honestly that's um, small business owners startups you know like the mom and pop businesses those law firms those flower shops photographers speakers you know the solopreneurs that's the small guys right the small people that's who i i work with that's that's where my heart is um and so that if you that that reaches a lot of different people so but i've worked with industry you know multiple industries and the best places to reach out to me are honestly on social media. <laughs> um, LinkedIn or Instagram is probably where I spend the most time as far as public facing. And then my Facebook group is, is the other place where I spend a lot of time now. 
and the new Facebook game uh, book, please uh, tell, tell us about the new page that you created. Yeah, so this group is once again targeted for small business owners. It is called Simplified Marketing for Small Business Owners, which clearly states in the title my goal there. Um, and what what I'm trying to do with this is just help as many business owners as I can by saving myself some time because I get the same questions and DMs and texts and emails all the time. And so in the Facebook group, every Monday I do a marketing audit of one of the members of the group. So I actually either do a live video or a, a written text post where I give them three to five things they, that they're doing well in, overall in their website, in their social media, and three to five things where they can maybe improve a little bit. And so really give them some practical and tactical, you know, feedback on their marketing and give them some help there. And then every Friday I'm doing SEO tips, which is search engine optimization for people who don't know that term, because that's one area where I feel like a lot of small businesses have no idea what they're doing. And a few small things can really go a long way in helping them get more visitors to their website. That's awesome. And so, Krista, um, let's let's leave your contact info. So um, what, what are your handles? What's the best places for people to follow up with you at? Yeah, so anybody can find me on all the platforms, at Krista Fabric. So that's just my first name and my last name. And uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. You pick your platform. I, I'm on, on them all. <laughs> TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but if you want to join that Facebook group, I also have the link um, in all my bios as well. So find me on any platform, and you can just click the link to join. Man, that's amazing. Well, hey, Krista, you know I can talk to you about this all day long. Um, you know, we like social media. That's what we do. Um, but, but we're about out of time. So that being said, um, thank you for coming back on this Reunion 2020 episode. I'm going to have to work on my TikTok game so I don't get left behind. And to the business owners out there, um, you've been warned. Need to do it. You heard that. You heard the story real time. Arthur Donis, who, she just, who Krista just seen recently with a million followers, not 2.8. That's craziness. Um, so, again, thank you for coming on the show and making us all aware of this, Krista. And uh, to the audience, as always, thanks for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Leave me a review. Uh, if, you, um, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you're up to. And, uh, and if you're out there making some TikTok content that we need to find out about. And uh, Krista, thank you again for coming back on. Thank you so much for having me. I look forward to seeing your TikTok videos. <laughs>